The first menstrual cycle is a significant emotional milestone for girls, marking the start of a new phase of physical development and bringing a range of emotions from confusion to curiosity and empowerment. For these young girls, the lack of prior knowledge and societal taboos surrounding menstruation can make this experience challenging. I would say I, I've heard of it before, but I've never seen my parents or my sister period before. Like they always hide it from me. So my first time, I was close with my dad. So I told my father about it, and he was the first person I told. Then he he informed me to go to my mom, but she is the woman. So my first day, I was scared. So my mom taught me how to fix the pad and stuff. Okay, in my part, I I sometimes get the period cramps, and I sometimes don't get it. So um, I try to be a brave girl and come to school because I don't want anything to be a hinder for me not to come to school because I'm going to miss a lot of lessons. Despite increased awareness about menstruation, social stigma and discrimination from the opposite sex persist. You don't actually laugh at them, yeah. but sometimes like how they do themselves when they are going through the pain. Some of the girls, when they know that they are coming to my shit, they don't prepare themselves. You know that you are coming to my shit, so you must put your part in your bag. You can give them sanitary pass, sanitary pass, so that they are coming to my shit, they can use it. They should know the man that they will mention, so that when it is their time or their period, they can, they can do something to prevent it. The United Nations Fund for Population Activities has called on government to increase awareness about addressing the stigma that affects girls. The difficulty in affording menstrual products can cause girls to stay home, not attending school, even attending work, with lasting consequences on their education and economic opportunities. Here in Ghana, the parliament has been discussing the issue of tax on the sanitary paths. It is welcome news can contribute to the reduction of period poverty. At an event commemorating International Menstrual Hygiene Day, the second lady, Samira Balmia, called for policies that eradicate period poverty. We all have to work together to create sustainable solutions. Silence about menstruation can lead to ignorance, neglect, and even it would affect the way policy is made, so we need to shout about it. Therefore, our advocacy must translate into policy change from schools to workplaces, from rural communities, villages to urban centers. 